Days on the tree, what have you thought about what you've experienced or seen and heard? What have I experienced here? I've experienced a great warmth. Juicy Thousand exists to enable young people to encounter Jesus, um, to have a personal relationship or to deepen their personal relationship with Jesus. Good to thousand. You know, I could tell, even at such a young age, I could tell there was something very special about being in that main tent in Walsingham uh, with, you know, at the time it was about 2,000 young people. And just, you know, just, I, you know, I didn't really understand the, the depth of the theology there or, or like what was going on, but, but I could just feel that, that, the atmosphere. It means for me the highlight of my summer, an opportunity to spend great time with God and other young Catholics and just to grow in my faith. And I'm really excited now because I can bring other young people to what I was able to experience five years ago. And it's just getting bigger and better. And it's great to be a part of that. God's always doing something new. So we would have events, maybe six or seven retreats a year. The opportunity for young people to be formed in their faith, to know what it means to be Catholic, um, to be proud of it, and to be able to share their faith in Jesus with others. It's, um, I'd say like my second family, because I've now got uh, Catholic friends all over Britain who I can get in contact with about anything. And um, especially they're there to support me on my spiritual side as well, because going to university you really need um, someone to, to help you along with that. Like 50% of the weekend is, you know, um, social and, you know, just making new friends who share your faith and being able to talk about that faith and share your problems. You know, we all have problems, we all struggle. You know, we struggle in our schools, our university, our work life. You know, none of us are perfect and no one's professing to be perfect here. It's the exact opposite with X, we are imperfect. We know we're sinners and we know we need a saviour and that's what's so great about Walsingham. You've got all these people there sharing it, not judging you and, and uh, you know, really encouraging you to just do the right thing and you encourage them as well. Without the grounding um, in U2000, meeting like-minded like families and making great friendships, uh, my faith wouldn't be in the same place that it is today, I don't think. I think going into lockdown I was really nervous um, about feeling disconnected from the outside world, but in actual fact U2000 has given me the complete opposite. It's given me the chance to form relationships and speak to people and grow in faith alongside people that I would never have met before. Um, and it's really helped me stay on track and keep my faith journey going and I'm so grateful and I just can't wait to see what U2000 is going to do in the next 30 years.